In this video, I'll share a short update of Tesla in Singapore. LTA just released their June 2022 new vehicle registration data, and Tesla is the number six most popular car brand on new registrations, delivering 125 new cars. All of Tesla's cars in Singapore are EVs. I'm here today at Ion Orchard, where Tesla has a pop-up showroom for the Model Y SUV. This is going to be here for one more day, which is tomorrow, Sunday, 24th of July. So if you want to check out the Model Y, come over here with your friends. 95% of all Teslas in Singapore are the Model 3 sedan. There are a few unicorns, the Model S and the Model X. There are 10 Model X, iconic with the Falcon wing doors, and under 15 Model S sedans. Those were all parallel imports before Tesla Singapore officially came to the country. Behind me, you see the Model Y SUV. These compact SUVs will start deliveries as soon as next month, in August 2022. But top of mind for many car buyers right now are the high, record high COE prices. All Teslas are Category B, and right now Category B is more than $110,000. We expect prices to stay high for the, in the foreseeable future. The government, trying to control and manage volatility in COE costs, recently made a change in the COE quota. Instead of looking at deregistrations in the past quarter, they are now looking at deregistrations in the past two quarters. That means effective next month in August, the quota will be based on deregistrations in Q1 and Q2 of this year. But still, it's still an 11.5% drop in quota supply. So if you do the maths, prices will remain high for some time. What are the implications? This great SUV here, which starts at about $60,000 US dollars on average configurations in other countries would cost us with COE for the rear wheel drive version, which is the base version, net of 250,000 Sing dollars. If you want to get the performance version, which has a faster acceleration, more range, higher top speed, you'll be closer to 300,000 Singapore dollars. The way I think of it is there are 650,000 cars in Singapore right now. If you're not already driving a car, you'd probably not get a car in the next one or two years. But if you're driving a car right now, you're driving a BMW, you're driving a Porsche or any other brand, and you're looking to convert from an ICE to EV, this is a good option. The only way to find out for yourself is actually to come down to this showroom, experience a car yourself, try it out. People always have concerns. Tesla's build quality, what about the panel gaps? All these cars you see in the showroom, and all the cars that will be delivered in Singapore through Tesla Singapore are made by Giga Shanghai, the factory in Shanghai. So quality has improved a lot, but it's always good to come down here and find out yourself. I imagine by now, you probably have at least one friend who is a Tesla owner in Singapore also. What's really encouraging being here on a Saturday afternoon is that there's so many people behind me, adults, kids, those who are young at heart, experiencing a Tesla for the first time. There are many people who won't go out of their way to look for a Tesla, unlike big fans like some of us watching this video. Being here in Ion Orchard in the middle of Singapore's shopping district is a good way to open eyes, let people see a Tesla for themselves. And I strongly believe that these SUVs, the Model Y, will be, in the near future, Singapore's most popular car, at least in Category B. Can't say the same for Category A because of how our COE system works. The transition from ICE to EVs is inevitable, but it's not an easy journey. For many people, when they look at this and they see electric charge port, they still have range anxiety concerns. What's been very encouraging recently is that we've seen Teslas and also other EV brands. Like recently, a BMW iX3 drove all the way up from Bangkok down south to Singapore and back. It even appeared on the Business Times. Here in Singapore, we've had at least two Model 3s Varying up from Singapore to Thailand. In Malaysia, we had a Model Y owner varying up to Thailand recently also. I think as more of these pioneers showcase to us, that range can be managed with a bit of careful planning. And as we build more public EV chargers, seeing an electric charge port will cause less range anxiety, less concern over time, and it may even excite people. Saving time, meeting new friends who are in a new journey, and doing a better part for our planet, especially with now all the climate change, global warming that's going on, the record heat we see in Europe and parts of the world. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. Have a good weekend.